YouTube, it's Herp's Derp here, and we are back with yet another episode of Warframe Spy Vaults. And here we have on Umbriel Uranus, the one, probably the easiest spy mission on Uranus. Um, what I would consider probably the easiest vault, and this is pretty unique vault out of all the spy things I've done in Warframe, and that, I would say that there are at least four different ways to complete this, that's right. I would say at least four. So, let's go ahead and go on in. This is kind of a little Grenier shipping room, and oh, look, if I can ever hack this, there we go. We're going to be able to see that there's actually a lot of live enemies in this one, as opposed to the other vaults we've done so far. So if you're on, for example, a sword or something, you would want to actually, you know, you just use your whatever sort of invisibility or stealth abilities to get around that guy rather than just shooting him, but... Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so there's usually there's always a guard there. There's always another guard down here, at least. So I'm gonna go take them out so I can freely show you guys the ball. Well, that was stealthy. <laughs> stealthy as possible. All right. So there are several different ways we can complete this. The first way that's probably easiest to find if you're going around taking out the guards is through here. So. As you can see, there are some lasers here. Um, you can go straight through these with any mobility ability, something like a switch teleport, or uh, one of Nova's wormholes, or if you're Limbo, you just walk through them. And then, I'll, and then I'll show you the different ways we can do this at the end. You can either hack a door and come straight into the vault through the right-hand side, or you can go through that grate, walk through a tunnel, and go to the vault through the left-hand side. And that actually can kind of make a difference because of the way the patrol paths the, the two enemies, the two or more enemies inside the vaults. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. Now, next way you can do it, if you look up here, there's actually a missing grating. And if we can go through this grating by climbing up all those, as you can see, we can go through this little path, this little path right here. Whoops. Let me break out another one. Now there's another set of gratings. Another set of lasers. And you can go through those lasers. Go through that grate there. And that'll end up dropping you straight down a long ways. In fact, I might just try and... Nah, I'm not going to try and show this one to you guys. You can go straight down the... You can go straight down a tunnel. And land back in behind this... Back in behind in the same tunnel I was... To go around the left-hand side of the vault I was talking about a moment ago. So... You end up in the same place regardless of whether you go through the top and, or whether you go through the bottom and go through this little tunnel back here. But the, but when you go through the top, you only have to deal with one one fewer enemy and the in general that set of lasers up there is easier to juke than the set of lasers down here because there's only two of them. Or, if you're like me and you like doing silly things on Uranus, <clears throat> you can go underwater. Now this one... I actually would not recommend doing this if you were sort of for a if you're going for a extremely high level mission unless your warframe is something like a Loki with a uh, not with some natural talent to rapidly cast invisibility the instant you pop out of the water. But uh, it's it's uh, probably the easiest the easiest strategy in terms of actual uh, physical skill and damage and lasers. So I would say that's this is this is always gonna be viable. Now as you can see, I was able to go through these I was able to go through this set of six rooms and eventually make my way around here underwater to this pipe right here. There's one other, there's actually one other room over here you can go to that is completely pointless and there's nothing to do over here, but hey, it's there. <laughs> Alright. So as you can see, we pop out in the middle of the vault. In general, this is gonna be behind this is gonna be behind the backs of all the patrolling enemies, but um, can can be a little risky to go this way, as I was saying. So, All right. hello. So normally, there's several different checkpoints enemies make when they patrol with this room. There, they will hit that particular checkpoint there, this one here, um, I, this one here, and the two checkpoints back in the corners, fairly often. And as far as I can tell, the routes are fairly fairly varied. The only place I don't usually see enemies patrolling this room is this checkpoint right here, but who knows, if you go into a high enough level version, maybe that maybe there'll be enough enemies that they'll come to that one anyway. Alright, so what was I talking about with being able to come through here in a back way? Well, I was talking about this right here. 
Where, as you can see, if I go through here, I come out on the back side of all these lasers. And if I if I come through this tunnel here, right there, is this big old shaft that you have, you can drop down if you're coming out of the top room. And I just fell back down. That's okay though. Uh, we're not gonna bother. Yep. You guys get the idea. So I'll go ahead and hack this, and we'll be finished. Ah. Uh. Well, actually, is possibly one of the most possibly one of the most interesting vaults in all Spy and Warframe. Anyway, once you get the vault hacked, this pathway opens up to let you walk straight out. It actually does have a lot of interesting Easter eggs in this room too, like the fact that the fact that you actually can and you do parkour in this area all the way over here. <laughs> There's always different shipping activities going on. Whoa! Yeah, there you go. And if I remember right, there's also a couple of glitchy areas up at the top area here. Anyway, that's not what we came here for. We came here to learn how to do a spy vault, and that's what I have hopefully taught you. Now stay tuned, because I'm going to ne post next uh, my series on the, the new Orkin Spy setup, which um, has only been around, you know, a couple months. And I'm sure this is pos this is the most popular uh, place to go spy right now because of the possibility to get one of the five different mods from the uh, Acolytes and the Shadow Dead events. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be having that on my channel next year. And this has been the uh, the shipping room, I guess I would call that. Shipping room on Uranus. So peace out, YouTube. Herb to derp out.